minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Trabs. Welcome back to the wiretap. Do you look like my little countdown? I just downloaded it. I needed something different because the other one was boring. Um, <clears throat> but it's a bit too too intense. I might have to switch it up. We'll see. Um, yeah, man, what's going on? Hope everyone's blessed. Make sure you lot hit the like button. You know the deal. <laughs> oh, brings me with countdown. Fancy of come on, man. Try to switch up the thing, you know. Um, big up Charlie Zoo every single time. Um, I've got a guest with me today, my media dog, my need, my media bridging. We've got yeah, like London Jen in the building. Salute, Four free salute, ends salute. On, on her Jen. Make sure there's free ends on her Jen. You know it. I'm um, just doing my media bit in the in the chat, saying hit the like. I could just say that because I'm actually on screen, can I? But I'm going to put it in the comments anyway. Hit the like. Um, I love your intro. I love the neon. I've gotten yeah. used to Streamyards like music, but that visual with the neon, yeah, man, I'm, 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 I, I thought I'd switch I'm it up inspired. A I'm inspired. I fucks with that. Yeah, oh, I, I shouldn't swear on your stream, especially in the two first two minutes. But yes, you can. I swear on the stream all the time. What, okay. Why not the first two Fuck minutes? Where, where am I missing? <laughs> because apparently the first two, if you swear in the first couple of minutes, um, it flags it. As you know, like adult content, like they, it's particularly the algorithm particularly looks on that first two minutes. Although you know that's just uh, something I saw in the timeline. So disregard it. Okay. Okay. But, okay. Well, adult content or not adult content, we're here. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, let's start with plug 1.5 um, going down. August 13th, not this Saturday, next Saturday. Oh, it's close. Yeah. Eight days. Pretty much, exactly. Pretty much a week, a week to go. Um, yeah, obviously we're spinning the block. I, I just heard there's some train strikes. So if you're traveling down, make sure you check your, your check your route, check your trains. Um, you're mining to get coach, but whatever you're coming from. So, you know. Double check your Uber. Someone said better start writing. And obviously this is the Facebook forum, which then doesn't tell me your name, but I just know that's Frost. <laughs> I just know that's Frost. I just know, innit? I just know. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, because I can't mm. see your name, but I just know that's Frost. If you're watching on the UK Battle Rap Forum, salute to you, um, but come over to the YouTube. Um, he's going to log off the, the forum shortly. I'll give you lies probably six minutes just to be more you know i don't know why i picked six numbers minutes. it's lit so, over here so we are on 346 so just over two minutes left uh and then yeah come over to the youtube and yeah come chill with us hit the like button if you're watching this on on, on the watch back still do the same um come over to the youtube at that exact point that you you're hearing this come over to the youtube and when you do hit the like button on your way in it's right there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, boost the algorithm and let's keep supporting UK Battle Rap Media. Subscribe to London Gents channel, all of that. But listen, plug 1.5. What are we doing? What are we doing? Who, who do you think is going to be battle of the event? Uh, headline. Got to be the headline and got to go with the bro. Uh, Rivers and Bobby Rex. It's, it's mm -hmm. one that should have happened. It's like the reason for this card pretty much um it's one that should have happened <laughs> i just knew i knew it was him i knew it was first uh, shout out mr never lost um, absolutely uh yeah one that should have happened on the first card 
two battlers with the immense amount of respect for each other, incredibly talented, both bring different things to the table. It's going to be a war. Like, it's going to be a war. I feel like Rivers should come to plug 1.5 with a t-shirt saying sponsored by Uber. Yeah. <laughs> I feel um, like River should stay there on Friday night <laughs> because of the strange chain strikes. Oh shit! No, nah, but I think <laughs> I think it's overgrounds. To be fair, so okay, well, I think he's safe on the underground. underground I, I don't know. Ways. I don't know that. I don't know that he's going to take any chances this time. I don't okay. know. He might be okay. yeah pitched out there from from Friday morning just to be on the safe side because I know he you know he wants this one. He wanted it in the first place. Um, so yeah, now with the extra kind of you know source on it or the extra added interest anticipation build up whatever you want to call it it's mm-hmm. lit that like, this this is going to be one of them ones if you no. haven't got your 10 pound 10 pound ticket yet what are you doing is it crack i have to ask <laughs> i like that one i like that one is it crack uh so ten pound ticket is Rivers, Bobby Rex, Koje, Visual, Briggsy, Frost, Sam Hypes, I Kid, Black T, A R, Benny P, Max Sherry, and Kings versus Gills. Ten pound, ten pound. Look, look at Charlie Zoo. Charlie said, "I've had tickets for Rivers versus Tally, Templar, Joey Gamelo, no. Bobby Rex, but I can't make this event." No. Damn. Is there oh, anything Charlie we Sue. can do on this end to make sure you come to this event? Come on, bro. Yeah, who do we have to take out? Is it a boss? Is it like do you want yeah. me to, to, to do something? I can call in a bomb for it or something. Like, <laughs> make yeah, something man. happen. Yeah, well, like let me it's know. Right. Let me know. It's only right. It's only this right. Is it. It's only right. But salute to Char- to Charlie Zoo every single time, all the supporting. Um, yeah, obviously we're not really gonna be doing predictions, but um yeah, I mean, dope card. We know it's a dope card. Um, Rivers, Bobby Rex. We got Koji and Visual. This was supposed to go down on Undisclosed 6. Mm. Um, it's going down on the plug 1.5. I'm really looking forward to see both of these. Both. I'm looking forward to this battle mm. because I think this battle is also going to matter in the conversation to the battle of the year, just like the headline. Definitely. Um, visual he's battled roots this year um and he got the he got the w and now he's got koji followed and then he's going to have path- pathogenic on apex mm. and then death the kid on acquisition mm. so he's got yeah he's got a busy year yeah um koji as well quality high opponents as well you know exactly. high caliber opponents fights yeah, yeah. Which means if he does well, I can only see him being very high on the top 10 list. Mm. Um, Cole J, he's battled um, Bizzo this year, which he dropped the ball. Mm, um, badly. Title match as well. Yeah, he dropped the ball. Now we've got... But obviously before that, before the Bizzo battle, to be fair, Cole J had beaten Frost, mm. Roots... Um, and he was on the road, so lazy before that even. Um, and now, he, then he lost to Bizzo, dropped the ball. We haven't really seen him. We are supposed to see him on the two-on-two chemistry issues or whatever. It didn't go down. Now, when I say chemistry issues, meaning prep-wise. Yeah, they, their preparation. they can get it together before the battle. Yeah, I mean, they just got two prep styles in it. Like, mm. Koji likes to write his material late. Mm. Uh, once the pressure hits and Quill lacks his material early mm. and you feel Quill probably obviously felt if then that's if you write it late there's not much time there's not much, give us don't yeah. give her much room to edit stuff around and all of that and he wanted to be and even to get the point. synchronicity together is a two on two if you write late and it's just you it's one thing but when you write you know when you've got to combine your material with your partners and your performance it's I imagine that doing that last minute makes it quite difficult. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just two different styles, isn't it? Two different prep mm-hmm. styles. So that didn't go down. So it don't don't matter. But then we see. Oh, oh yeah, he battled Briggs on on beat by some Briggsy. They had the they had an on beat battle, which is dope. Briggsy said I cooked him on beat. <laughs> dope. 
Um, yeah, obviously he's and now he's booked obviously for um real deal on Apex mm. and he's booked also for another battle which I won't say when and where, but he's got another dope battle locked in. So I do think he also has is also even though he took a, a loss to Bizzo, if he wins. He, I, I mean, on the face off, he said he's aiming. To, he's still aiming for top three, and he knows he can't lose to Bizzo for that. He needs to kind of. I mean, he, he knows he can't lose to to Visual for that. Mm-hmm. He's got to win his next um, his next battle. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one, man. And it, it gives him it. an interesting kind of almost redemption story going into it, where you know, a huge loss for the um, the in the title match. And where he let himself down, like he had great material, really, really strong material and just didn't, you know, wasn't prepared, didn't deliver. Then back to the two on two, like it's kind of gives, gives, you know, gives the audience something we're, we're expecting. We've got high hopes going into this because we know what Kojo can do. But the last couple kind of, you know, with that, the we didn't get to see the two on two. And we did get to see, you know, him kind of floundering up there against against Bizzo. So, yeah, high hopes going into this one for sure. And like you said, visual, I think in terms of, you know, Battle of the Year last year, it was one of those that was, you know, talked about as one of those newcomers who's going to make a hell of a lot of noise, and that's exactly what he's doing this year. And kind of late start to the year as well, like or late push in the year. He's... he's um, yeah, he bottom, battles roots bottom early, loading. Then, yeah. yeah. But then now he's bottom loading the um second half of the year. And it's got them like. back to back as well. Like that's it. High impact. Cold J October. Right I mean Cold J August, yeah. pathogenic September, death to get and there's all big fights for visual. Yeah. All big fights for visual. Yeah. So yeah. Um he, and not only that, opponents. visual visual is also going for a title shot. He said he they said on the face of visual feels like if he loses to Koji, that puts him at the back of the queue because Koji mm. obviously lost um lost the title shot already. Um I don't think I think it depends on how he loses. I don't think he necessarily puts him at the back mm. of the queue. But who's who's at the front of the queue? Um personally, I don't I don't actually know. I don't just so don't take yeah, my word just for no. It. I'm just I'm not asking you here. Exactly. No, no, I'm just clarifying. Like, give me the official. <laughs> feel like I've got some inside info or something, and it's not that. It's just this is media trubs, mm. um, with my own. The, these are views of the wiretap, they're not premium. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I personally think he's Bobby Rivers. I think Bobby and Rivers are up there, mm. hence why their battle means so much as mm. well. Um, again, when I think losing, I always feel like it depends on how you lose. Mm. Um, obviously, the title's not going to be defended, I don't think, this year again. So it's probably going to be next year. So there's still a few mm. battles in between here and there. People to make their case. Exactly. So, mm. but personally, I think Bobby and Rivers are at the front of the queue. And they, mm. so to me, even though it's not, I wouldn't, it's not officially a title contender. For me, it kind of is because if someone wins clearly, I think they get fast track straight to the title, mm. personally. But mm. who best to clarify this? <laughs> right on time. Oh, shit. Right oh okay. yeah, yeah. Right in. You're free, Yo, right in. Who the best to end. clarify this? I mean, I don't know if you, if you was, if you just heard what I said, but. Um, I was talking about the title, yeah. and even though Rivers and Bobby is not really a title contender battle, I personally think whoever, if someone wins clearly, fast tracks them straight to the title. Personally, it's uh, definitely I think an argument, isn't it? That's it's definitely I said this, it's so an yeah. argument. It's definitely exactly, an exactly. <laughs> Little I already in the said eye this, there, the <laughs> I already said these are the views of the wiretap and not premier battles. This is not Charles. With he any didn't. He said info. he didn't. He, I don't know if you caught it just before you came on, Briggs. But he said Briggsy told me in the group chat this is the unofficial contender match. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that bit, but that's what he said. I, I wrote it down. I've got a quote ready to go. I think the next title, 
The next title Woman match lie, was, Briggs. Woman lie. The next title <laughs> match was like a handful of names, but I think the one after this next one will be the interesting one because then you've got like Visual Mulk. Like there's, there's quite a few in the running that are just a few battles mm. off yet. Mm. I'd say, mm -hmm. I'd be honest though, I'd, I'd say the only people in contention really for absolute, so absolute is going to be the title match every year. Um, and oh, I, yeah. it's probably between Bobby Rex, Rivers, and out of nowhere, Raptor. Like Raptor's had Oof. Rivers, and then he took a break. But when you work out Bobby Rex and Rivers' his break, it's the same amount of time with Raptor. Since then, he's battled Frost, mm. Buffalo, McKay. He's just had a massive performance with McKenzie. He's got mm. off -off. Um That's true, you know. Raptor can just slightly creep in and... Yeah, because we were talking team. about there's enough time for people to make a case. And Raptor, I guess, is really one of them. If you have those, he's already, you know, got the groundwork. If you come and you put on those lightning performances, you show you want it, you deserve it, you're hungry and you're going to come and defend that belt. Uh, the thing yeah. is, with Raptor as well, I spoke to him the other day. He's, I mean, Raptor still thinks he's behind Rivers and Bobby Rex, but... The way the year's gone at the minute, like Rivers is right up there for me, but with the way the year's gone for Rivers, we have to mm. take that into contention as well. Like, you know, it, it's just not been his year for battles at the minute, which is a shame. Like, if Rivers would have had um, Joey Gambello, Bobby Rex battle would have happened. Um, obviously, he would have had someone else on Apex because Joey would have already happened. Like, he'd have been well yeah. in contention. Yeah. He probably would have been the next battle, battle to get the shot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a totally that's, that's, different story then, right? Yeah, there's probably four battlers maybe in contention for it. Absolute, it just depends how their year shapes out from now, really. But mm -hmm. after that, there's there's loads of names, which is good. Just shows where the scenes at, doesn't it? Yeah, it nah, really definitely, does. Definitely it really makes does. it tough. And I was just saying as well, Koji and Visual is very important for that conversation because they were both saying on their face off, um, they are done with them. That Visual feels like. Visual and Koji both said it. If Visual clearly loses, kind of puts him at the back of the queue, so he can't clearly lose, which he doesn't plan to, of course. Um, but yeah, like it makes that battle very interesting as well. And I was saying as well, like I told Koji, you also, he's got that, that he can't afford to choke or stumble because yeah. people are going to be looking at him a bit funny mm. if he does. Obviously, he's only actually lost to Bizzle. Before that, he beat Lazy, he beat Frost, he beat Roots, and then he lost to Bizzle. But for some reason, a lot of people are looking at him versus Real Deal like, oh, should this, why does he yeah, battle? Why does he get that battle? OJ is just one of them battlers that people don't like seeing get shots. Like, <clears throat> take the Bizzle battle out of it. He's been he's been on fire for two years. Like, he. I don't know the last battle he lost. LSD in maybe 2019 was the last one he lost. Mm. But yeah, Cole J, because he had the Mike P situation back in 2018, that's always stuck with him and that's sort of the consequence he has to live with. Like, you know, things do stick with you in battle rap. It takes a long time for people to forget when you fucked up something that big. So it's just yeah. one of them, one of the things he lives with. But, you know, like you say, he's killed the last five opponents apart from Biz also. He was definitely in contention to get an international anyway. And let's be yeah, honest, like, Rivers has already got an international, Bobby's already got one, Bizzle's already got one, Raptor's got one. Everyone who is at that level has got an international already. So Cole J is at that level as well. He's, he is the type, last title contender. So it wouldn't have made sense for us to give Cole J someone lower than that category just because he lost a title match against arguably the best battler in the UK for the last two years. Like, you can't hold... Do you think it's, it's, it's... I think... It's not necessarily, though, and I'm not justifying um, any sort of backlash or argument against, I'm not trying to take battles out of people's pockets, but it's more that he threw it away rather than he lost it. It's more that it, it was a title shot and you weren't prepared. Like I think from my point, it was just so disappointing watching him because I loved his material. And it's like, get it out, get it out clean. Like you can win this, like. So yeah. I think it's, yeah, it's more that... It yeah, was... I think that's a good point, because I always say it's not about you losing, it's how you lose. Yeah, but um, you have to look at the whole picture as well. Like, for example, Rivers not showing up against Bobby Rex. We could easily have gone, well, you're not on, you're not doing the Joey battle now. Sure, but sure. Yeah. Rivers' whole story, and Rivers, for the last five years, has been bang on. 
Of course. No, that's what I was saying. I wasn't justifying, but I, I think it's more that it was not that it was a loss, but it was yeah, just that unprepared. Yeah. And um, especially the amount of work we put into that as a title match, the selling it, the face-offs, mm. everything. Yeah. yeah. It happens, way, like, I... No one's robots, right? It happens, yeah. like you said, yeah. off the back of two years, and then all it takes is something like this, and then the perception, you know, battle rap has a very, very short memory. Uh, yeah, he's... yeah. It's one of the things that I said this to Cozy all the time, and he's got the only way he can prove people wrong now is killing people. Like mm. he, he started to do that after the Mike P thing, no one wanted to see him again. Then he came back and beat everyone he went against until yeah. now. So yeah, it's just yeah. one of them. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I think personally, I I see Cozy having a great battle with Visual. I don't think anyone's gonna get bodied or anything like that. Personally, yeah, I I don't. I think both are, are capable of winning. So I think I can only see him having a great battle with Visual and a great battle with Real Deal. And once that happens, I don't think anyone's going to say anything. Like I feel everyone can moan now. Once the battle happens, they're like, yeah, I'm glad I saw it. You know, Bro, it was, only, it was only literally when we booked the Anarchy tournament, everyone was saying, why are we booking Bobby Rex? Now everybody wants to see Bobby Rex. Like you can only prove people wrong by your performances at the end of the day. It just is what it is. Like... Yeah, <laughs> I'm just hoping. I mean, you know, bro, it's it's good for us as a scene if everyone goes. If Cole J goes and kills real deal, it's only good for us. You know what I mean? Hundred uh, percent. And if can I just say, Desperados, you lot got to sponsor me, yeah? You got to sponsor <laughs> me, bro. Definitely. I drink a lot of these these bad boys. You look, you guys got to sponsor me. They on my cup, but you got to sponsor <laughs> me. <laughs> you you're not sponsoring me yet, so I'm gonna use my cup. But there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna tag Desperados bro. on this. Say again? You need to stick a logo on the cup. Nah, they ain't paying me yet. <laughs> um, Gas Buff said, yo, if, you, if you're looking to give a title shot to someone who recently won an international match, in <laughs> calendar is open. You see, shout out to Gas Buff. Going to I Battle very soon, which is a great mm -hmm. look. It's on a great card as well, man. That card is stacked. Yeah, that, um, card. yeah, that card's... Um, but anyway, like, battle... Next battle is Bison Briggs versus Frost. Yeah. How how do we feel about this battle, Briggs? Uh, yeah, I've got I've got a point to prove now, Anna. It is what it is. Why do you say that? Elaborate. Because I took a, a. I mean, to be honest, I feel like the loss on my last one wasn't. I couldn't have done much about it, but I still, my last proper loss was Malk. Like, it just is what it is. I, 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 the last time I took two losses back to back was about six years ago. So, what did you do after that? What was the battle after that? That was going to be my next question, actually. Yeah. <laughs> my last loss was no. So after when you say you haven't taken two losses back to back in how long? What was the third battle? So after you took the two losses, what did you do? Did the man walk out of there alive on battle three? Yeah, he left. He came <laughs> back. <laughs> now, my next body after that was LSD, I think. Yeah. And uh, he was the academy champion and got cooked, Dean. And I, remember, I remember I was in the building for that still. And a lot of people was surprisingly saying LSD was going to beat you. Because I because I think my last battle before that might have been Mr. E, you know. And I choked every round because I went on a fucking party like a dickhead. Then I, was, <laughs> I was in the building for the Mr. E yeah. one as well, to be fair. but Yeah, yeah. so... But yeah, I had uh, a battle of Mr. E, choked every round, and then used my Mr. E material in South Africa three weeks later and got battled. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I, was on, I got battle of the night in South Africa on a card with like Marv 1 and Raptor and everyone on it. So I knew oh, yeah. the material was solid, but I just, yeah, the party. Everything up. happens for a reason. <laughs> yeah, it's what it is. But I learned from it, man. I think the Black Tea loss pissed me off because I felt like we would, yeah, I watched it back the other day and like, Right up until that point, the battle was fucking fire. Um, yeah, yeah, that was that's the probably the most battle of water away disappointed with, and it was just because it, the way it panned out. And you know, it's not even blaming No Lose Jack because they're not in charge of the camera, they're not in charge of the DJ, like that. You know, they facilitated everything they needed to facilitate. But yeah, I feel like I need to put a show now because this I've done too many this year. It must be so yeah. unsatisfying. Like, oh, it, was, it was gutting. So like, unsatisfying. Me and T sold the life out of the battle. Oh, was, my God. I don't even feel like I got my best, my best punchlines off. Mm. Like, I felt, in my opinion, my third round was the best round of the rope, and I just didn't get any of it off. But 
it just is what it is. It happens sometimes. Like, and uh, now Frost has to pay the price. Yeah, now Frost has to pay the price. I'm actually Frost. Flat. Frost is having a great year as well, though. Frost is having mm. a great year as well. Obviously, he started. He started off with Koje. No, Koje was that last year? No, yeah, he started off with Koje. Everybody, yeah. Koje and yeah. Raptor CJA. Raptor on one week's prep. That's that's yeah. nuts, you know. Mm. Violin Raptor on one week prep. Just to accept that. Never mind to go and do as well as he did. Yeah, as I say, if my phone rings for that, I'm not <laughs> accepting that. I'm not well, I'm taking a piss, mate. Yeah. A Raptor comeback battle as well, man. Raptor <laughs> up for like six months. Yeah. And I'm then, uh, yeah, CJ, then he had a great battle with Tech. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, this one. I've... He's really turned around, like, kind of the inconsistency arguments where he suffered the kind of lack of motivation at times and kind of wasn't really super focused now it's like damn okay for us yeah. yeah people talking about him in consensual battle of the year so mm, yeah fine. i think he's i think yeah i don't think he's there yet but i think he's coming up it's coming up for it. to get in the conversation you know yeah. to get in the conversation i think last year this point last year you wouldn't have been he wouldn't have been one of those names yeah. that you would have necessarily have been putting in the list but now like it's it's kind of undeniable he's um he's been a few like this year it seems like this year a lot of the people who are on the fringes have just took it serious and just gone yeah. mm. which is That's sick fact. yeah yeah we I, also I, think, I think you have to credit trubs with for some of that like with i think just having battle of the year the amount of times like especially towards the end of last year you were hearing people wanting to you know make sure they got in their three battles saying for next year they're yeah. going to you know it plays into it plays into their kind of strategy for the year in terms of quality opponents in terms of number of battles they're planning out the year and you know it's like well can i get two more in and you know i think it's it's definitely um given people giving the battlers some extra inspiration to really put on those quality performances. 100%. So salute to you for real. Yeah, no, it's dope to see a lot of people like with that in their minds when they're planning the year. Like mm -hmm. I need to have three battles this year. I need to, you know, I, I need to be, they're going back to the list of last year and see who was on the ranking and they want to, they want matchups with those guys. And it's dope to see still still to see but it just it just ex makes the scene a bit more exciting which is what i wanted mm -hmm. to do to be fair um, well, i mean i'll be honest it's the reason i've put so many battles this year is like i missed out last year being able to qualify because i had like darpa dropped out old shade dropped out i had like four dropouts so i missed it by Johnny one Darko battle. dropped out on you as well uh, a couple. Well, yeah so i would have been i think i would have ended up with five or six battles last year and I ended up with two so i didn't make it um <laughs> but I mean, I didn't expect yeah. to have six battles in by August, but we'll see. Yeah, six, six. I think. I'm yeah, on Briggs, it. Briggs is up there. You know, Briggs is up there with um with Jeez. one of the most battles still. Yeah, and you're that. running like you're taking over the the globe with PB. Can you? So you can you just move over to your new business. I struggle like, saying, you... Oh, you know what it is. I, I think it's, <laughs> it's really positive as well. Like the scene is so active. I've never been a battler to go. I want big names like someone's interest, like Black Team. Someone's interested in a battle. Mm. But then, and I, yeah, I, I regret it pretty quickly when I realise I've got two in four weeks. Um, <laughs> old Shay on Apex three weeks after this first battle. So, yeah, you got this man. So you, yeah, you got Yanif already, Joker Star, Moak, Koje, Black T leading up to Frost and Old Shay. Yes, yeah. that's, that's mad still. Yeah, there's some great that's performances mad. in there as well. A hundred. Mm. Um, battle after that, we got some hypes and I kid, which obviously, just like um, Rivers and Bobby didn't go down on plug one, um, personal reasons and all of that, but we, it had to happen. It had to happen. So I'm looking forward to this one as well. Some hypes, what, his battle just dropped with Jester Black? Yeah, crazy battle as well. Shout to Jester as well, yeah. man. No, nah, definitely. Um, and I want to see Aikid more active as well. So hopefully this kickstarts it. Um, Black Sea and AR. AR is coming off a terrible showing, as he yeah, knows. I've seen the first round. I missed the actual battle. Multiply you... it by three, Briggs. Multiply yeah. it by three and you've got the battle pretty much. 
especially as the stuff I think that he didn't get off in the first, he tried to get off in the second and kind of still didn't get off. But you didn't miss anything. Fuck's sake. That's a shame. I heard um, Bracey's material before the battle as well, man. He sounded like he was going to snap on him. Nah, Bracey went off did. still. Yeah, yeah, Bracey did his job. Bracey did his Bracey job. Cooked. I think, um, you know, AR, new battler, there were lessons learned there, especially in terms of, um, you know, not drinking yeah. before yeah. your battle. Yeah. Sitting in a balaclava all day has got to be hot as well, though. That room, yeah. Is well, to be fair, he didn't have it on all day because his friend had it on for a lot of the day, and they swapped sort of halfway through. Um, so they uh, had a little sweat exchange as uh, balaclavas. They 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 swapped they swapped the balaclava like he took it off and the guy put it back like it was it was odd but um you know sourced so I get it don't do that again because like I think Ar he's um an exciting new face he's definitely yeah. got um so much personality and character and charisma things that you can't teach so work on like if once he works on the things that you know you can you can easily improve and kind of takes it maybe a bit more seriously. He, you know, he's 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 got a future, but he's got Yeah, a... I agree. He's got potential, but mm. yeah, he needs to know what works and what doesn't. Mm. Yeah. And it's too early in his career to be drinking before a battle. It's so a, yeah. Um yeah, living you learn in it. I mm. hope he 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 what he's got a pay-per-view code so he can watch himself back. Um know exactly what what he done wrong put the ego aside and yeah, put the work in. Put and he's got the ability, in. right? That first time that we saw him and um, that first round was really, um, it was really exciting. Yeah. It was high energy um, and delivers it with personality and charisma. He can really put on a show. And, and I think he will have definitely learned from that last performance and he won't be doing that again. Yeah, we've got also Benny P and Matt Cherry. Personally, I like this one because I like Benny P still. Um, I, I, I keep remembering Benny P versus um, Trinidad Bez on Man. the pros. <laughs> you made my son a fan that day. My son came home and YouTubed Benny P. He was sitting here watching Benny P. But Listen, like, that rebuttal, every time I think of fire. Benny P, that rebuttal comes to comes fire. to my mind straight away. But I think, um, I don't know if you've seen it, Briggs, but Trinidad Bez was kind of in, in the middle of talking in the middle of Benny P's round. Like, look at what, look at his trainers, look at what he's wearing. And and Benny P goes, I got little trainers, but you got little trainers. Because <laughs> <laughs> he had crowd. on literal blue, Ooh. yellow, and red, yeah. is it? What's the colors of the little? Like it was literal yeah. little trainers, yeah. but it was, it was, you know, one of those you walked right into that do yeah, not mention especially in his round while he's rapping like yeah. and he was doing that uh, you short you short short bars in it like he was doing short bars so once you've done once you've spoken he's about i've got little trainers and you've got little trainers yeah. oh my days the crowd went crazy yeah i like um, benny benny applied for the academy a couple of years ago and didn't get through the qualifiers because his material was a bit I think he had a couple of bars about a kid who died up in Liverpool or something, and everyone was just a bit like, nah, that's not going to run. But his plot, he was funny as well, man, so it's good to see he's gone away and actually worked. I've seen that battle, by the way. That's the one where Bez said he helps me family members get cancer and die. Oh, God, yeah, it was, oh, yeah, wasn't shit. it? That was outrageous. Just, just yeah, I remember... Me and Rivers looked at each other, everyone the, from Prem, like, and the Rivers silent, goes... like, the room... Rivers just... goes, every, everyone... That fucks with them. All we have to do is fuck with them, and we've got eight. Our family gets cancer and dies. It was yeah. just like what? Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's not just you lot. It's whoever fucks with Prem. Yeah. So it's so we was like, that's the whole room right now, pretty much. I was like, fuck it, all that. Did he ever come back, Bez? Or is he gone now? Do you know what he's told me? He he did a diss track when you got when Prem and all this chat were doing diss tracks. He did a diss track for for Prem. Sent it to an LC, but LC never put it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know who else? You know who else? <laughs> Jay Shaw. Man, like Trinidad Bears. They should, no, I was about to say they should battle, but nah, actually, I just remembered you said Jay Shaw. Yeah. Yeah. They no. shouldn't battle. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But yeah, Jay Shaw did a diss track for an LC, and yeah, it wasn't on the Prem, Prem channel. 
Nah. <laughs> oh God, I remember the fun we had with that song. Oh, yeah, you know, on the Sunday God. roast, was roasting that. <laughs> Oh shit! We have to keep oh, the quality there, man. But like, <laughs> the quality was a big part of that. Uh, yeah. mm. uh, good yeah. call. In retrospect, good call. I, I mean, the fact that he had to upload it himself. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if I if I did a diss track, sent it to the league to upload it, they didn't upload it. I'm not putting it up still because it's just you, gonna look like to I'm know. the reject. I'm the reject. That yeah. all the diss tracks are going on the channel, but mine can't. Let us the Premier Bounce stepchild. <laughs> I'm yeah. not putting this out. You get a Facebook upload. Like, <laughs> when we vaulted battles, you just get a Facebook direct upload. That got a that got a J Short direct uh, upload. Uh, yeah. Um King versus Gills. King obviously is is doing his thing, he's is he's been about. I, like um, King, I just hope he shows up though. I heard that he knows mm. shows up oh, the other week as well. King. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping he shows up. Okay, I was talking to him last week, so I'll, I'll, yeah, give, right. him a, I'll give him a shout again. He went about a Hulk like two weeks ago and no shows. Okay, okay. I'll, ch uh, I'll check yeah. in again with him. Um, yeah, Gills is he's battled on Nobu's chat before versus Nobi. Yeah, Gills um, used to be Big Daddy Bleach or something on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he changed. Dad, yeah. Nah, that that was that was King of the Ronalds. Okay. Big Daddy Bleach. Like squids and out. then he changed his name to Gilgamesh and was on Gab. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Now he's changed his name to Gills. Yeah. This is what we need with a plug, man. Like like I said, look, obviously we've had the conversation, but new talent coming through as well on Prem that you know we might struggle to get a debut on up north because they're from South. Like this, the plug mm. just opens that up to people to get on the league as well. Yeah. Nah, definitely. Oh, Obviously, we've got massive with the first, well, first three events. Um, yeah, but we, I'm gonna do. I th I'm thinking to do a couple, um, a couple um, tryout, tryout events anyway, just to get. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, like, there's so much talent in London. Um, I think you know, not to be London centric, but it's it, you know, it's a huge city. There's a lot of artistry that goes on here, and to not have, you know, I think. To have the addition of the plug in in London really helps to to, to showcase and spotlight that will give you the opportunities to really help bring more people into the scene, more fans and um, more um, battlers as well. Hundred up. So that's the goal with it. We've got the plug, then we've got Stroll doing Undisclosed, Visual doing Island, like essentially Apex and stuff will just become an amalgamation of all them divisions rather than just bookings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you want to get on them big cards, make sure you're hitting up Trubs and getting on the plugs in London. Yeah, yeah. That's the fact. Um, another conversation I wanted to have is um the battle of the year. Who do you lot think is, is in the running for it this year? Um, so far. Gotta mention the champ, right? How many battles has the champ had this year? Two, so he won't qualify yet. After Thesaurus, it'll be free. Okay. Well, then you've got um, tech, moak, visual. Yeah. Um, I mean, bookings wise, as for the battles that's announced, we know that Bizzle qualifies if everything goes to plan. Um, same with. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Got a pitch invader. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man, I think Biz was having obviously, yeah, Cole J, the first, the first person, first champ to, to retain the title, um, first successful title, title retention. And then we've got, um, what do you, yeah, Tony real D. Deal. And was real oh, yeah, deal he's about a real deal. So, yeah, three, he's already right? got free. He's already got free. So, he's got real deal. Cole, Cole J and Tony D. Oh, Tony. Shit. yeah, 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 yeah. Cracking performances in all three as well. And when you talk about kind of um, level of opposition going over to Canada, you know, hostile, well, as hostile as King as was, King was of the Dot will get, but, you know, it's not, he's going yeah. over to his opponent's kind of home turf, first international, uh, yeah. and then, you know, go Tony D. It's yeah. um, heavy, heavy opposition. 
the sex, successful title defense. Yeah, and then another big international against an an absolute round round mushroom. I cannot say that word. Mount Rushmore. <laughs> yeah, a mush a rap. Go on, Jen, guys. you can do it. <laughs> Mount Rushmore. There we go. There you go. Against the map. Against the Mount Rushmore candidate. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's super solid. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think the thing is as well, it's the level of performance and opponents mm -hmm. as well, isn't it? Like that's that's, that's what it is. The level of competition is important. <clears throat> if he has um I think if he has a Tony D level performance against someone like Fasaurus, then it's pretty undeniable, in my opinion. But there's a few people that are still in the running hundred percent. Yeah, like Moke's getting better and better. Yeah, I and, think Moke's up there as well still. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And Moke's got kind of um he doesn't have a he's got quite a good win ratio, doesn't he? Or at least not loss ratio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's how many judged, but has he had any judged? But oh, yeah, he's had the two on two, which was judged. Yeah, um, he had the one rounder against Quill, which Quill. I think yeah, most people are probably. I think did most he people he won against Messi, did he? Clearly, yeah, that was yeah, a judged win, clear win and, yeah. and it was clear, yeah, it was judged. Yeah, I think it was a unanimous one as well. Yeah, and it was, yeah, a great performance. All I genuinely think Malt's missing is a big resume kill um, mm. and potentially get that with Ark. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. Ark, come back. Ark is a beast, he's a legend. Yeah. A big yeah. state. Do you know what happened with that battle? When Every time I speak to Moak, Moak says, I'm going to kill Ark. <laughs> every time I speak to, I speak to Ark, Ark says, I'm going to batter Moak. <laughs> These are the exact it. words that they used to draw. I, I I, I'm one of the few people that I've actually seen Ark live, like a lot. I think the last time we battled was like four years ago or something, and a lot of the fans then. They would. And he's crazy. Dialect, dialect was his last one, isn't it? Was that oh, was that on charts out or something? Now dialect on was it on prem. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was four years. Oh yeah, shit, it was dialect. Yeah, that was four years ago, wasn't it? Two thousand eighteen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, it's crazy, bro. Like I, I genuinely think Ark's one of the very few battle rappers that can adapt in any era. He just under these few people that just understand how to battle. Um, and I love the fact he wanted to come back and battle someone who was killing it in a minute. Mm. I genuinely said to Ark, who do you want? And he was like, give me someone you think will work. That's literally his conversation. Mm. The fact he said, like, you know, he's come back, he could have done whatever he want. He said, don't pay me for it. I'm coming to back to put on a kill. Like, Ark doing this for free to give back to everything. So That's fire. Salute to Ark for that. Yeah, and for giving, you know, giving someone like Moke as well, you know, a great battle, giving him a shot. because. It's a huge battle. I got his comeback. Like he said, you gave him gave him his choice and he said, Yep. The thing is as well, Ark's got global fan base, whereas mm -hmm. I don't think Moke's gonna gain someone like that yet. Even like I've not got that like to the level Ark's got. Whereas yeah, people from King of the Dot and old fans of WRCs will watch this battle. Hundred percent. Mm -hmm. I think Moke's yeah, comeback for sure. He's just missing that big view hitter, Moak, that big resume kill view hitter. That's all he's not got on his resume. I think once he gets that, he's in the competition. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, nah, definitely. I would agree. Um, but I think, yeah, Moak's already, Moak's got quite a few ones, quite a few good ones still. Quite a few. Yeah, I mean, he's battled what? Quill, me. Uh, he did that America ben battle. Ben Superior. Yeah. Ben Superior, yeah. Then he's had the two on two, Messer. Yeah. And then he's got what arc? I know he's got another battle down the line, but I don't think it's been announced yet. Um, yeah, so I mean, he's, having a, he's having a big year, man. Shout, by the way, congratulations to Moke. I know he's just had his kid as well. So, nah, definitely. Yeah, shout out, Moke. I spoke to him um, literally two days ago. Um, yeah, man. Congratulations to him. Um, fatherhood. Hope, let's, see, let's see how fatherhood impacts the prep now. <laughs> yeah, serious. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people get forget that um, say, um royalty was after last year's battle of the year came out. With, now royalty was Boxing Day, which uh, but we we don't count online battles on um, battle of the year. So yeah, it's, um, Aces battles can't count. Otherwise, like why did four thousand and one wanna? <laughs> well, on spaces. <laughs> yeah, isn't that what they do now? Spaces battles or something. 
Yeah, something like that. Something like that. There you go. Jen's back. Um, who else you who else do you think? So visual, obviously visual he battled roots and yeah. now let's say he beats Koje, let's say he mm. beats Pathogenic, let's say he beats Def the Kid. I think he's definitely high up in the rankings as well, to be fair. Yeah. I don't th I don't think right now, but October time he could be easily one or two or three. Yeah. yeah. His performances, man. Pathogenic and Death the Kid. Death the Kid is absolutely killing. He's fire, right? Um, and I think yeah. maybe in terms of level of opposition, he doesn't have, like, I think we perhaps named some kind of uh, more higher level. I hate using these, you know, like metric type terms, but you know, status, ranking, whatever you want to call it. Maybe he, but in terms of performances as well, um, I think it's got to count. It's, I think it would be dope if we get to a place where it is kind of that technical, where it is you've literally kind of got to list off guys, um, you know, years against each other, and you've got to literally break it down well. He's got X wins versus you know X level of opposition. I mean, you've really got to pick apart. Yeah, nah. I for agree. the whole top ten as well, not just for that top spot. Yeah. Like that's a really healthy place that says that you know you've got really high high quality battles, putting battlers, you know, putting in dope battles, great fights. It's, it says a lot. It says a yeah. lot. Yeah, I mean, we can even look at um, last year's one, which I've got. I've got it here. Uh, I think so it's when we, completely different this year. Looking at some of the names, then. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a video, so it's going to run out. But, yeah, we've got... Yeah, that's a, about... I think we've got Koji added to the list. Because um, he's going to have three battles. Does Quill qualify now? I mean, Quill's got... Quill's had Moak. Moak. That's it. One he's, rounder. It's got well, nah. It's got it's got a battle on don't flop. Oh yeah, it's this the thing with don't flop. And I'm not even trying to do the don't flop hating shipping. It's hard to keep up with what's happened on there. Ah, uh, it's, it's a nightmare to find mm. their battles. To be fair, I know it he battled is. on on April April Fools. Yeah, he did so. the computer game battle dinner. I think this is one of the things as well. Like cartoon was a cartoon thing. Yeah, cartoon theme. I think. We did it last year, like someone like Tech last year had like nine battles, but when you actually looked at it, like five of them were one rounders. So it's hard to compare that to someone who's done five three round battles. Whereas Quill doing like computer game bar battle, it's hard to go, well, he's not, you know, he's better than him who's done actual free dogfight pit battles. Like, yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, it makes it helps him qualify, but yeah, it doesn't. It's like getting yeah. in on technicality. Yeah. It goes yeah, back to like, but. I, I, there's not much argument for the vote, really. Yeah, I think if, with Quill, the... it's like you think about Quill and you think he should be in there, but exactly. when you, if you don't have the the catalog this year to back it up, it's like it, it just you know, like you say, a one rounder and then kind of um you know a a, a showcase type battle. It, it's it's it, it's not no matter how good you are. You can't rank it against like what we, you know, what you just said against some of the other guys. It, it goes back to what you said, Jen. It just shows how tight it is this year as well. Or mm -hmm. It will come down to these little technical things at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Because these yeah. people, these people like um, Kit Nelly, Bard, Gas Buff, Kingsley, who've done, gone through the academy, wrapped mm -hmm. up wins, but then you can't compare five wins in an academy tournament to five wins of, with Bizzo mm -hmm. doing Thesaurus, Real Deal, Cole J. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. on paper, you know, you might be the same five and oh, but that's the new Don Flop editor. Um, I'm going on an editing spree before I head out to the States, so all Don Flop stuff should be up, should be out okay. soon. You can drop in the wiretap. I'll Will we the find password. it? No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, now, nah, yeah, I mean, I mean, we need the battles out to be fair. Obviously, battlers, battlers worked. For, to, to put their material together. so And it just makes the Battle of the Year thing more interesting. It makes it easier for me to find the battles as well. So Yeah, um, obviously, I've, I've been trying to keep up with it, bro, but like it's hard. Don't, don't Flop's the only one I really struggle keeping up with when we're updating the spreadsheet. Yeah. Um, uh, Beastang, the Kick Nelly shout-out to Kick, he sent me 
he sent me all the all the bars I need to add it to the sheet, That's which he's so got he's got whoever whoever that he's got the judge wins on there, he's got the judge losses on there. So Sick. I'll add them all to the to, to so the sheet. So be like part of the league, you know, part of a league owner's responsibility is something because at the end of the day, the only like last year, you know, when me and you were putting this together, Trubs, we missed a few don't flop battles off, and the battlers were getting pissed about it because some of them missed yeah. out, but. You know, we can't just predict what battles are there. Like, we have to know. Um, and, and it's hard as well. Like, some of them are very hard to find. Like, hard to find the card. You don't even, and then you're trying to find did this battle actually go down? Like, I can't yeah. find it. What happened? It's not. Yeah. And, and it's how we rank it. Like, April Fools, that was Hulk had like, he battled five people. He did a one rounder with five people. So it's like this whole does this, this class like literally he battled one crow was one of them so like he battled crow crow leaves then sean cray comes in he still rebuttals what crow said and then goes on to sean cray this is i don't even know if sean cray is actually so but it's like okay so now hulk has one battle that counts as one battle for hulk oh, he's a and everyone ever else has a one rounder like do you know what i mean like it's I, I suppose because if we're counting one rounders anyway, it probably does have yes, to count. count. Yes, count. Does it count as like five? One? Do you count five? Nah, opponents? he's one five, battle for one him. He's one. Is one. Is one battle for him? <laughs> like train it's... one on this. <laughs> no, that's mad. But <laughs> we got to pause that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> one came unloaded. Next, like unload. <laughs> Uh, we definitely got to pause the unloads in here. We... <laughs> That's what happened. He got a train run on him. He got a battle rap train run on him. <laughs> Fuck it up. Um, yeah, nah, but <laughs> I think it counts as a one one battle for Hulk, I guess. Um, because yeah, it's, it's one like one battle, isn't it? It's one prep that he's done. Yeah, yeah, it's one battle. And then everyone else counts as one battle for them too. Yeah, I suppose it's like the two on twos, isn't it? Like you can't give Mulk and Black T two round at uh, two battles because they battled two opponents like it's exactly one exactly it's but one battle at, isn't it? at the same time if he'd had a kind of a knockout performance and he killed five opponents it would be a real like you know like so two on two you, you mentioned there um Moke and black tea but you look at the shuffle and um scapegoats two on two that's a different story like yeah. not all not all kind of not everything is so black and white yeah, yeah, yeah we can't count a two on two the same as a kind of solo battle but when you make an impact like that when you when you've got a battle of the year type content battle of the year contender if 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 you battle five guys and um you know kill them all have some crazy moments for battles like have a a, a, a moment in and of itself that's huge impact and that yeah. takes you up in the rankings but if it's just okay you did a novelty thing and, and got about rap train one and you it's it's like yeah it's still yeah, around it's, it's still yeah. around but i feel i think i think hulk could do could do a couple a, like a couple more serious battles i think i want to see hulk do to be fair i, I, I actually do a couple right. more i lost because a bit of a dickhead sometimes the person but as a battle it's all right um, but yeah, it's just I say, <laughs> I say you lot are meant to battle, bro. We, I say, it's me and Joey are all over again, man. We've been booked for like yeah. four years back and forward. Yeah, tell me, so what happened with Joker Star when you finally got your hands on him? Yeah, as what well, I don't even think I'd want to do the Hulk battle, like, not even the disrespect, I'm just not interested in it. It's the same, there's like four battlers have been booked against so many times. Like, writing for Joker Star again was a chore. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just is what it is. I think um, the beauty of this UK Battle Rapper of the Year thing is like the fans decide anyway. All we do at the end of it is provide you the numbers. So, you know, whether yeah. we miss one or two battles, as long as you're over the criteria, the fans decide who the top 10 is anyway. 100%. You know, like, like even if you give Hulk the five battles off that one, there's probably not many fans that are going to go, oh, well, he did battle five people and won mm -hmm. there. So he's number one. Like you, you're only judged on what people remember and people remember moments. And you can't remember yeah. the moment it's not out. And that's why I always say it's important because <clears throat> obviously, again, like this is a majority of a fan vote base. 
So I personally feel like it's important for you to do. Number one, I think this is marked a good marketing research. Like you get to see who the fans are watching. Mm -hmm. So it's don't get mad at us. Get mad at you because you're definitely not doing something right, whether if it's promo, whether if it's branding, whatever it is, that's something that's that's not right. Because again, like we said, the fans mm -hmm. vote. And you also, I personally feel like you need to see who the fans are watching and put yourself in position to grow your brand. So if people are watching Prem, if people are watching No Loose Chat, you need to make sure you have an appearance on those leagues, you know? So um, rap is full. Um, yeah, like you need to make sure you have an appearance on those. Well, is rap is full done now or are they done? They haven't had a card in a minute. I don't know that they're done. Don't want there was to talks kill about them off, being done. So I, I yeah. thought there were talks about them coming back. I'm not too. I know Matt. Matt's left. Who was sort of running it? Oh uh, shit! Rap is full. Let me. Yeah, we're not. Now. I think you're confusing RCI I'm, or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally confusing. Yeah, yeah so RCI not... are back with the, their their event was off. Then they back. Then they came back on. But rap yeah. is full. There was talks of them being done, which I'm not sure what's going on on there. So don't quote me on. I think there might be one or two staff members. I don't know what's going on, but I know sort of like the key, the key staff members sort of thing have, have stepped away. That's all I know about Rapids World at the minute, which is a shame, man, because they had a proper little good thing going there. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Um, is Johnny Darko going to be back at Prem? I hope so. I hope so. Johnny Darko's absolutely. I'm glad Johnny Darko, man. Uh, yeah, Johnny. You know, Johnny's quite open with his struggles with mental health and stuff. Like, you know, he's quite open about it. So whenever he feels like he's ready and he's up for it, then we are. So I'd love Johnny Darko to be a massive part of Prem Island. Anyway, I think he. I think he's one of the best there. Hundred percent. He was my favorite Irish ballad at one point. <clears throat> yeah, he's. Um, Rivers put me onto him. I was totally unfamiliar until I think Rivers mentioned something. It was like, oh, yeah, I love the way Johnny he backs back nice. punches. Like, not a, not many battlers back to back punch. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, as soon as he's watching, as soon as you're ready, bro, give Visual a shout. I'd love to book you on any event. No, definitely. Still want to see you versus him, to be fair. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I might do it in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That'd be a nice one. Nah, definitely. Definitely. Okay, um, who else do you guys think is in the runnings for it? Um, Again, obviously, we mentioned Raptor. We have to talk about the most prolific, right? Surely that must be Tech at this moment. Tech's got the most battles this year. Yeah, like, he's got... And he's got more books. Last week alone, he battled 74 times. <laughs> That's three. Tech, Tech's got seven battles already. Tech battled two. When did that Oh, no, yeah, rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even being a I'm not even being a dick at it. I was there for it as well. Yeah. Genuinely don't remember that happening. Unforgettable. That's not um, what you are. But you know it is. Do you know it is? That's in a way quality over quantity. Yeah, I was just gonna say like, the same thing. I think mm -hmm. like Tech's had what? DARPA, which he Good won. performance. Yeah, he won Slestor, he he just had a bad day at the office. Yeah, very yeah, bad. Nice. Day. He had a great. I, I thought Tech became the Tech I wanted to see in the two on two on pro. He was the MVP on the two on, of that two on two. I love oh. that two on two. That's a great battle. Like, so if you haven't watched that, definitely go and watch it. It's on the channel now, isn't it? It's on. Yeah, it's on. Channel, yeah. yeah, it's on YouTube now. Yeah. Cramp Twins yeah. versus. I said to him Barbarian. on stage, "All right, me and you can. Go, me and you have to go still. Yeah. Right after that battle, we were still on stage. I said, "Yeah, me and you got to go still. Me and you got to do this." I think Tech's in the same boat as. Mm. A little bit like Moak, he's missing that moment. He's not at that moment this year yet. Uh, I mean, the Frost battle was fire. <clears throat> I think it didn't get spoke about as much as it should have because of the level of Bizzo and Tona. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I that agree. That was quite a front runner for Battle of the Night easily. Yeah. It's Battle of the Year. Yeah, it was the fire battle. I mean, even that's like a debatable, like, you know, when I came out the venue, there was people saying Tet, there was people saying Frost. Um, oh, okay. I was talking about Tony Bizzo, Battle of the Year. Oh, yeah, sorry, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Tech and Frost would have got loads of love online if mm. Tony and Bizzle didn't happen straight after it. Yeah. Uh, fact, yeah, I agree. But he's just missing that moment for me, Tech, at the minute. I think I think he's going to get it. He's yeah. definitely up there. He's just not had it yet. You know, the yeah. one where people walk away and go, yo, that was... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that he's... kind of turning point, that, that, 
that switching kind of levels that way you go up a gear I think he definitely had it coming out of um like he's he, you know came out of his, his rookie year kind of um had a leveling up, up there but he definitely needs to yeah transcend yeah. again he's at that that tipping point for sure it's gonna moment. be against me she's gonna go crazy against me what Shit, yeah he's got you now. I mean yo big it's, it's a gonna go crazy he's he's been he's, he's been wanting he's been yo I'm someone who's he's he's he he really wants he really wants me to he wants me to get out he wants me to get me out of it so uh, I said this as well from the last era versus era. I remember recording the conversations with you and him, and it was more kind of barbarians, Penn State at that stage, but it was you and him going at each other. And ever yeah. since then, at every event, there is some point where Tech comes over and he, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's my yeah, guy as well, but yeah. you no, know, it is. I, I didn't even think it was that long until he pointed it out to me. Like he goes, yo, do you know, we've been talking about this since last year. He phoned me and he's like, we've been talking about this since last year. This is this is the first time I have a battle where it's been brewing for over a year. Mm. Yeah, yeah, just know this. I said, fuck it, all right, yeah. cool. Like, you know, <laughs> yo, if, if Tech's going to take have, your head off. If Tech's going to have his moment this year, like it's a big card, big room, big battle. That's a fact, yeah. And like with such a crazy card, shout out to Prem, shout out to Prem. Yeah, Prem. I might as well no show, free right? Day, free day Apex card. But every, you know, not only is it your mission to win your battle on that card or to be the talk of the day, it's to be the talk of Apex against, you know, up against all these crazy names. So, you know, it, it adds a, a different level of of motivation. So, yeah, he's, he's, he's coming to make... To make an international name of himself off the back of you, Charles, just so you know. Yeah. He battles too much, man. He's got <laughs> seven battles already. And he's got, see the same day of as um, Plug 1.5, he's got a Spaces battle on GTX. He does, yeah. The same night. Mm -hmm. A Spaces battle on GTX. Then he's got me. And then I know we still got to be standing with your tournament versus Enigma. Yeah. Which he's going to do. That's, I think. The week before announced? me. Yeah, it's the week before. The fuck? It's a lot. It's, it's now, I think. You know, there's it, an yeah. argument for building muscle memory. And there's yeah. other battles that he's booked that I know of. So by the end of the year, I just know he's going to have so far 10 battles. Yeah, I think it. I think it. I swear, we was counting the other day and got to eleven, or maybe that yeah. was including the spaces one. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's eleven if you include the spaces, but mm. the spaces but, don't count for the. But battles, ten, no. eleven, like either way, that's a crazy. Yeah, it was that's eleven. Twelve months it in a year. It was eleven. Yeah, because it was and twelve months in a year. Yeah, gonna have. You'll probably try and squeeze one in somewhere else as well on the way out. Yeah, like, why not make it a nice round twelve? It's a lot of battles. I think like there's a danger with doing it with so many because if you take two or three losses, that's all people remember. Yeah. You know, if he yeah, goes into December and he's lost Apex, whatever battle, next two battles after that, then people go, oh, Tech's had a shit year. They'll forget the first seven months of the year mm -hmm. that he's killed it. Yeah. I that's mean, a great point. So far, he's, he's, beat, he's beat Kick Nelly, which was the first one of the year for him. Yeah. Uh, which was a judged win. He, he he beat DARPA. When was Red Wolf? Was that last year? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was last year. He beat DARPA. Then he lost lost to Slester. Scott Judge win versus Barbarian. So Frost is debatable. Um, I, he's yeah, got he's, um, Zay as well. D Mac was a win, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Zay is debatable. I think I don't think D Mac is debatable. I think that's a pretty clear win. Yeah, I, I, I didn't say D Mac. I think it's a clear win, but Frost is debatable. I might, I might be edging it to him. To be fair, um, Zay is debatable, but I might mm. be edging that to Zay as well. To yeah, I think I edged Frost. I think I Frost uh, Tech. I edged to Tech, but I, I gave. I edged it to Zay. I haven't had the rewatch on that yet. Close. So 
in my opinion, he's got four wins mm. on those seven battles. It's not bad, is it? He's, he's in the he's in the positive category. Yeah, yeah. But it just tips you above average, so it's kind of it's that it's that. When you take yes, battles, in more battles, it's more error, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, in terms more of kind of error. numbers, you're up there in the numbers. But if you've got four battles and four wins, then that's a much stronger ratio. You haven't got any losses. Um, 100%. So. It's, a, it's a bit like George, isn't it? George is on six battles, and his year's not been great performance-wise. six? Yeah, he's had uh, oh. Arts, Duke, Red Cat, Visual, Barbarians, Funky D, Subrime on beat, and Shuffle T. Mm. And he's so what? it's... it's Kind of a mixed bag there in terms of wins, losses, and debatables. Yeah, we've got some I mean, clear like, wins, clear losses, and what's up round this year? Yeah, it was this year. It was in February. Okay, yeah. one's a one on rounder. Round. One's an on beat. So those are kind of sort yeah, of tangential I mean, to the main four. Yeah. So Ryan was on beat, and he pulled out his phone and all of that. Archduke, he, oh, he won, cool. but and that's the thing. Like, see. See when you win, yeah. Like I'll still see when you win, but if you have something where you pull out your phone and all of that, it overshadows everything. Mm. That yeah. round that you pulled out your phone kind of overshadows what you've done for the rest of the battle. So all we're gonna yeah. mention is it's, that you pulled out your phone. Yeah, on that battle. it's huge. I noticed watching um Zay and Tech back actually. One round, I think I gave tech that round anyway. But there was a round that Zay pulled out his phone, and because I was behind, I didn't see. But it's like it was I just, I think it was just that. before going into the third. But I was, um, I was behind them, so I didn't see it. And it's like, oh, now all of a sudden, it's like, oh, I have mm. to look at your next round differently because, like, if you're clearly like, if you pull, if you pull out your phone and you're like, Gigi got you on caffeine, and you're literally in the caffeine chat. It's one thing. That's a flex. But if you're there and yeah, you in your click. phone, it just, and and is is how he look, affects you your know. round though. Yeah. It's how he affects your round though. Like I think if your opponent's rapping and you quickly have a little glance on it, I probably don't take that many points away from that because he hasn't affected your round like that. If you started rapping and it's, it's round running on you, and it's all lies on you. And your phone come out, yo. <laughs> no, but even like you see it often where you know that their opponent's round is coming to the end and they pull out their phone to remind them of their next round. Like, it's a big cheat. Like, you might not pull it out mid round of yours, but it's like, you know, there's a certain part of that that you haven't got locked in. You need a yeah, reminder. Yeah. You need to go and look at your connections yeah. or something. You know. You need to know how and, the And because start. you know, as a battler, you know what pulling out your phone mid-battle looks like. And it's not a Lou Castro, tag me, tag me. Or it's not like, you know, Geechee comment in the caffeine. You know what it is. It looks like you're looking at your bars. So you're going to, I imagine, avoid it at all costs. You're not texting Mumsy in the middle of the battle saying, you know, make sure there's milk in the fridge when I get home. Yeah. Or that. Exactly. I love that moment. That's one of my favourite Shuffle Tea moments. Like, uh, that was one of the first things I saw from Shuffle Tea. And I think it's so creative, like, calling. No one can do that better than Shuffle, you know. Oh, it's brilliant. No one can do them kind of things. Brilliant. 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 I loved it. I loved it. I was such a fan after that. Such a fan, but yeah, um, Georgie, yeah, the the mixed bag. When you think kind of where he was last year, the run he'd had last year, even with some some not wins, oh, yeah. even with some losses, you know, um, this year it's it's looking very different. I think the thing with Georgie was, even though he took losses last year, his performances were still incredibly yeah. high. Yeah, Whereas this it. year, he's took losses and his performances haven't been high. Yeah, that's, that's it. why I say it's how you lose. I keep yeah, saying that yeah. it's how you lose. What does he have coming up? Because I think he had a great performance in the shuffle, shuffle. battle. Yeah, that was a great performance, I think, against you know, um, have you seen it yet, Briggs? A vet, uh, yeah, well, that, I've watched, I've only watched mine and shuffle battle back. I need to watch the rest. Uh, what, what did you think? What do you think of Shuffle and Georgie? I had Shuffle 2 1. 
But I thought Georgie was back to being Georgie. I think that was probably his best performance since mm. maybe. Probably what? I think it's his best performance ever. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, maybe. I, thought, I think I better, preferred I thought, his Tony performance. I but I think it. it's I close. This one. Yeah. I thought, yeah. I think he was a lot closer with Shuffle than he was again. I thought Tony beat Georgie quite convincingly. Mm. But I thought Shuffle had to dig in to get that win. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a sick battle, though. I think that's one of them. You watch it two or three yeah, times. I've, I've, on, I haven't watched that one back. And I'm first, like, live in the building. I've edged it to Georgie, but it comes down yeah. to that first round, which I need for me. And I need yeah. to definitely watch that back because I could easily swing either. You know, I could go either way on that. But it's fire material from both of them. Yeah, that was a, it was a sick, but it was good to see Georgie do well, man, because people yeah. do like Georgie. I mean, I mean with yeah, Prem, he's yeah. not got nothing booked in at the minute, but that's just because we've not had nothing mm. there for him. Yeah, like, he's got yeah. so much talent. He's, he's fire, man. He's fire. Yeah. He is a sick battler. Mm. We just, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Got to show and prove. Got to show and prove. He's Can't be complacent. Team. And then, you know, being, I'm a big fan of, you know, or not a big fan, but I, I like when a battler has, uh, a nice proportionately sized ego, but when your yeah. ego outweighs your performances, you're you're out there looking shaky. And when you're talking about money and things, like it can put a real distaste in people's mouths. And I think Georgie has the ability to, you know, really yeah. become one of the best that this country has to offer. And but it takes dedication. You've got to be dedicated if you if you want to if you want to fulfill your potential. And I want to see him do it for sure. Hundred percent. Um, Cram Twins battling Visual and Slester at some point next year. Ooh. Yeah, it was meant to be this year, but basically, um, if we would have put it on Apex, like eight battlers would have missed the chance at big opportunities on Apex, so it just wasn't fair. Um, then we was going to move it to the plug two, but then pretty much the majority of the card are on the plug two anyway, so we couldn't do it. So we'll probably do it at the start of next year, probably kick the year off with a two on two semi final. So yeah, Bobby Rex and Raptor versus Molk and Black T. And Tech and Georgie versus Visual and Celeste. So they're fire, fire battle. I might want to do a two on two exhibition on that on that card still. I, I miss doing two on twos, man. Do a two on two, man. Yeah, man. That's still two on two, man. I want to do a two on two. Why did you preface it with the exhibition? Because I'm not I'm not I'm not in the tournament. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. I'd throw a two on two card to be honest, like a whole two on two card and just have the headlines as the semi finals. Yeah, that 100%. Would be that's, but that's that's exactly why I was, I thought the plan was. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, the plan was to get them done on Apex, but then you would have had, you wouldn't have had Bobby Fate wrapped her up off Bulk Arc. Like it, it just yeah. wasn't fair to stick him in a tournament and go, you mm. can't have anything big. I think it as well, when you've got those four as what's that semi finals, right? Yeah. Um, it, it 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 seems uh, apt to plan a card around that when yeah. those are the four. When those yeah. are the four, like you know, we we bought them and then the undercard. We've still got like barbarians. We've got the academy winners. We've got Frankie and Frost. Like there's loads of two on twos yeah. we can still use. So um, yeah. I won't mind doing one myself at some point again. I've done one and I fucking hated it, but I still want to do it again. Who did you do it with? Me and, <laughs> me and Raptor beat Italian shocks. Oh, I think I've seen that actually. It was yeah. fucking horrendous. But <laughs> I was prepping for that. Weird, you know what? I, I just started running Don't Flop North, and then we booked it as the headline. But then me and Raptor got flew to South Africa like two weeks before it, but that came out the blue. So we was writing on the plane on the way back. But obviously, mine and Raptor's style is so different. Raptor is yeah. aggressive, multi. Mm. I like to build to a punch, whereas. I had to sacrifice my punches to fit in these multi structures, and then he had to dial it out so I could hit with a punch. And it, yeah, we just ended up arguing all the time. It's fucking a <laughs> And then I had to say one of the bars that he written, which was fucking horrendous. And then that's the only one people quote, bastards. <laughs> nah, two on twos are hard, man. Two on two. I remember when I did a two on two with Bracy. I think you booked it actually versus yeah. Scoops and Flawless. Yeah, yeah. That was and we was on the coach going coming up to Manchester, rehearsing, and I'm like, I right, woke up, we slept on the coach, woke up, I'm like, all right, let's run it, let's run it again. And Brace is like, nah, I'm cool, I don't want to run it anymore. I said, bro, 
I don't give a fuck how cool you are. <laughs> I'm not cool. We got around. We got around. And we was we walk into the venue and we arguing. <laughs> we got to the venue. We're not talking. Me and Brace stopped talking when we got to the venue. Ike is like, bro, you guys, bro, you guys need to do this. You know, you guys are gonna go on soon. And I'm not talking to Brace. I'm pissed off. Brace is not talking about it. It's mad. We had to go outside. I, right, you know what, bro? Let's run it one more time and then go do this. Whatever happens, happens. Cool. Run it one more time. I right, cool. Went and done it. And I think we've done all right still. I think we've done well, all right. It was like barbarians and uh, take note were sort of at each other on social media for a while anyway, weren't yeah. you? So people were waiting for it. But yeah, it's yeah. hard, man. Like, I think the reason we beat Shocks and Tally was because me and Raptor had actually like intertwined our rhyming, whereas Shocks and Tally did four bars each and it was, just didn't work for them. But they said that straight after it, like it was a weird thing for them to do. Yeah, I think yeah. I think Tally wrote all his bars and his shots wrote all his bars and then they just turned up on the day and wrote for, spat forward each. Like you can't do two on twos like that. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah. You gotta do it with someone you're cool with, man. Like yeah. You know, 100%. I'd have to do it with someone that I chill with on a pretty regular basis. I keep you need saying that chemistry, I, I, right? You yeah. need that chemistry. And everyone preps different, like I, I said from the jump. Cole J and Quill would never work as a two on two, but obviously a bucket because I wanted to see if it did work. But mm-hmm. yeah, the two diff like Cole J, I basically that battle got cancelled because I cancelled it because Cole J didn't have any material and Quill wanted the material wrote and they were just arguing. But I had no, there was no doubt in my mind Cole J would have turned up with three rounds on the Saturday, but Quill wanted it. <laughs> so they were just arguing. So I said, yo, I'm calling it, I'm not doing it fucking a mess yeah it is what it is man yeah i, I want to do a two on two with i i don't want to break it i want to do a two on two with i kid you and i could be sick so you two can fall out, out too huh so you two can fall out too i mean i could won't fall out still to me it is i could i could don't challenge me as much as bracy does <laughs> that's that's just the truth not that i could i could agrees with me more than bracy does uh, yeah. So, yeah, that. But yeah, I want to do a talk with I kid. Um, all right. So, if we have to pick top three of the battle of the year now, as it stands now, now as pick? in, so with none of the, because you know, guys like Bizzo, it's all on prediction, right? And those no, battles still can't battles. happen. So, yeah. He's got three battles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did say, yeah, yeah, three. He's got the three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. real deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so God. it's down to, yeah, who who's had three battles at this point that you had to pick a top three from? Oh, I wasn't ready for this question, Charles. I know no one probably was. I wasn't. All right, let's let's talk Look, before we do talk. Let's let's narrow it down to five. Then maybe who's in the conversation? I don't want to put my three. Bear so, in mind, declared as well. Like anyone who's battled on Beast Anglia, Dope Flop, and Dub Scandal haven't been added yet. So yeah. So uh, this is just the five we've got. I mean, the ones we've above three now. So we got what? Te- oh, sorry, Jen, do you want to go through it? No, no, go on. You've got the the, the data. All oh, right, uh, five. Everyone's seen it. <laughs> uh, Tex got seven. Georgie Roots is on six. I'm on five. Kick Nelly's on five. Moak on five. Black T on four. Um. Dale C A on four, Frost on four, Matters on four, Savants on four, Bizzo on three, Cole J, Crow, Danny Jack, Gaspoff, Kingsley Fundot, Lizzie C, Max Sherrett, Robin H D, Slestot, Tidal, and Yannick for all on three. There's quite a lot on two though. Yeah, I mean, and there's more yeah. there's more to be added as well, to be fair. But if we stick to those names mentioned. I'd say Oh, got to be, free. you've got to include, or in the conversation, Bizzo, Moak, Tech, Visual, Frost. Is Visual Visual's not Raptor? there yet? Is Visual not there yet? Visual wasn't there Raptor's yet. not there yet either. Raptor's on two, Visual's on okay. one. So my first three. Um, um, we're doing just the top three, yeah. 
Crow, like even Crow, Crow's actually on four if we had the Hulk battle because he, he was on the he was one of the guys that battled. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, Hulk. Crow's on I'm four. Say, my top three as it stands right now would be. I'm going to say I'm biased there, but I'm going to put Bizzo at number one just because of the free level of opponent. Yeah, level of opposition. First. I think it's pretty clear, to be fair. Yeah. I don't think, yeah, he was my first. Um, I'm probably going to say Moke second because he's got an international kill. He's battled a veteran with Quill and he's had me. He had a clear win with me. He won the two on two and he had a clear win with Messi. So mm. I'd probably put Moke yeah. second. Yeah, it's a difficult one because it, as, it, as it stands right now, he lost to Celeste lost to Zay. Dep depends how you judge the Frost one. Do you know I what? I think the Zay one is also debatable. Yeah. I don't think it's a clear loss. Clear win for D Mac in my mind. Yeah, Frost, I think, is debatable potentially, although it's. I'm probably going to put Tech third anyway, looking at the rest of the names. Yeah, I've got, I've got Bizzo. Moke, uh, Black Tea. Oh, yeah. hold I on. Think oh, no, Black Tea's Black... got the judge lost, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah Black Tea yeah. could be up there in the rankings. He's beat Messi, Academy winners, and he beat Briggsy. Yeah. So, but I'm going to, yeah, I think Tech still, I think Tech is still got, um, personally, the Frost battle is, out of all those texts, the Frost battle is the best tech. Oh, shit. Frost as well, though. Frost is that. I said Frost, yeah. I did say Frost. Mm, Frost as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where's Frost? He's on four. Cole J, Raptor, CJ, and Tech. Mm. Oh, that's solid, you know. Mm. And so, solid performances as well. like consistent. Raptor was a one-rounder. Moments. But he's Raptor. And he's got CJ and Tech. I think he's between Frost and Tech. Yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd probably agree. Frost and Tech join third. I'd say George, he's had a good run, but he's I don't think he's had any battle that I've been impressed with since besides Shuffle. And the mm -hmm. two on two there. Uh, I want to say that that's, not, two two. that's comparing Georgie to last year and what we know he's capable of. That's not mm -hmm. saying he's not good. Yeah. But all to play for going into the last six I mean, months, a, five months. You've got, I mean, a sleeper as well. He's, he's got Frost next, Slester, like Slester's arguably beat Crow, beat Tech, and apparently, I've not seen it yet, but apparently he beat Matter on the weekend. Mm. Oh. And then he's got Frost. I thought Crow got Slester pretty clear, though, in my mind. That was a odd Slester, and I'm a big Slester fan. I didn't, I wasn't a fan of that. Crisis. Yeah, so Something seemed really off there. His I timing think, was way I, off. Yeah, I agree. I, I think on both of them, to be fair. Yeah, the, the battle was weird in the room, but I just think Crow, I like Crow as well. Like mm. in the room, I had Celeste because of Crow didn't land anything. I think mean, his material was good, but he didn't land at all. Mm. Whereas Celeste was a bit, I think Celeste was still working on being an oddball, if that makes sense. Like his, his style yeah. a bit off. And I love that. And I think, like, one of the things I've always credited him for is his comedic timing. I think he always gets it spot on. And when you rely so heavily on those kind of, on those pauses, on that sarcasm, that kind of dry yeah. interaction, if you get it wrong, it, for me, it kind of really, it stands out more than if you're bars don't necessarily land because at, at home I can be going crazy for those bars that the room like doesn't quite hit like because yeah. I'm not in that atmosphere I don't feel that that whatever funniness is going on in the room but when it's humor it's yeah. if you if you're if you get that timing wrong and he's normally impeccable with it like I say maybe I'm just grading him so high because I know how well he does with it but um no I, don't, I agree though the bat that battle was I thought that was going to be incredible. It was just a massive mm. round. And yeah. I think yeah. maybe, no, I think the worst thing was, though, as well, like it went on after, I think it was after me and Yamath, and everyone had just been in stitches for like 40 minutes, maybe. And then Crow came out with 
big heavy hit. Like you had to listen to what Crow was saying. The crowd just wasn't into it then. But then at the same time, Cole J and Frost went on and shut the place down. Like, yeah, it was a weird. It was just a weird battle on the day. I, I like this. This is a very good analogy, and well, not analogy, but um, analysis. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Um, Slester lent too much into the long awkward pauses thing after the moat battle, which I agree. I mean, Slester's pauses versus moat for some yeah. reason Perfect. in that room is like Perfect. whatever he said was getting funnier the longer the pauses mm. were. It was weird, yeah. like it, it, them pauses were perfect. Like how however they how they land. I think mm. Sless is better also on stage than yeah. in the pit. Yeah. Like, I think although I mean, he killed impact in the pit, like and yeah. he was he was great doing it as well. So I think it's it's kind of I think this is like he lent too much into it perhaps after Mikey, he, he, he's still trying to find himself with, yeah. with because his style is very you can't rehearse his style. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you need the crowds to know what works and what doesn't. So mm. Celeste is actually perfecting his style in front of us. It's like yeah. you know, when it like when Pedro was in the Anarchy tournament, Pedro needs a crowd. He, mm. he, yeah, it highlighted the weaknesses in Pedro's game with no crowd there, whereas he would probably would have walked most people in the room with the crowd. Mm. Um yeah, the bat that battle as a whole was a bit of a letdown, but I think it doesn't matter. To be fair, I think Matt needs a crowd too. That's a thing. Yeah, that's hundred percent, yeah. Yeah. Whereas Crow was put off by Slessor's talking and it was meant to be a lot of joke. <laughs> Another pitch joke here, but he was so pissed off and all that. I think the thing yeah. is as well is I've I've had this conversation with Crow after the battle, he was like, you know, they're not fucking with bars and I was when you when you're new to it, a lot of people do get frustrated by it, but you can't expect a crowd to react to you. That's the worst thing you can do as a battle rapper. If they're not yeah. reacting, it's not because they're sleeping; it's because you're not making them react. Yeah. It's on it's you, your right? Job. The onus is on you. That's it. Yeah. Your job to entertain. Yeah. The crowd. And I think the minute you kind of switch on the crowd and put it on them, you've lost that. Um, yeah. that want to entertain or that that thing that makes you think you can entertain because you you've kind of you've got a little bit of a chip on your shoulder now because the crowd aren't fucking with me no turn it turn it around you're a battle rapper like you know what they say the customer's always right is the exact the same thing is the exact same thing mm -hmm. the 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 fans are there to be entertained However, they choose to be entertained. However, they choose to be entertained is your job to 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 study how they want to be entertained, and do that. If you fail to do that, you failed. So, mm -hmm. the yeah. customer is always right. The fans are always right too. What you can't do as well is you can't stand, you can't stand in the pit and literally. Sorry, man, I didn't mean to cut you off. Then you can't stand in the pit and go. You sleep in because fans hate that. Like. When I remember when Tox battled Bobby Rex and everyone was like, oh, the fans were sleeping on Tox, he didn't get no love. But Tox was actively saying the fans can suck his dick for two weeks before the battle. <laughs> the last thing they're going to want to do is react to your material because you've just been telling them to suck your dick. Mm. And he still won. He still won. still won. But the thing is, he's like... judges and all of that. Raptor does it a lot. If Raptor's not getting love, Raptor will go, you're sleeping, but he'll automatically turn around and go, where the fuck are you? And then he'll go into some crazy scheme that gets them warmed up because he makes them feel like, shit, we're not reacting, let's go. Yeah. Whereas if you go... <laughs> That's how you do it. Raptor. You can't Raptor see versus... deliver the same tone because fans will just go, yeah, well, that's why we're sleeping. Raptor versus Mackenzie said, and this fucking country needs to be removed. <laughs> Yo, this fucking country oh, needs to be removed from Britain. And he has real like, boom. And he's saying it again. He, and he's put, he, he, he got even more hype. Like, bro, it's the second round. He literally starts by going, you scruffy Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're like, you know, you're in Glasgow, which is like one of the roughest cities in the whole country. It's like Battle Rap 101. So, like, what you want to do when you go away, like, you want to win the crowd over, like, give them a reference, show love to the city. Fuck you, man. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> you should be here. 
yeah, there's only so many battlers that can handle that sort of style yeah. of work. Yeah. But yeah, like just going back to Slash the Crow, I think I don't think that's gonna have any sort of defining on where they place like we originally thought it was gonna. Um they both improved off the back of it. Slester's found the style now. Um yeah. Crow Crow's had he had the fire performance with lazy as well off the Crazy. Back of that. Crazy. No, definitely, definitely. Um and that's what I'm saying, like that's still who do you think that hasn't had yet three battles, but we know will Rivers. do sorry, sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> we know we'll do and it's gonna be in the running for Battle of the Year. There's a few man. Rivers, Bobby Rex, mm. um so there's so many to visual? enter the party. Wasn't on there yet? Yeah, as well. yeah. Yeah. There's so many. You said so there was many. a ton on two. There's some on three who that fourth could push them in there as well. Yeah, I mean, on two at the minute, I'll read them out. You've got, uh, I'll read them from the bottom. You've got Tatum MC, Subrime, <laughs> Scomo, Viral Key. Oh no, Scomo's on three. So that's yeah. Shout out Scomo for that viral moment and for raising, you know, for doing, for, for, for you know, you're raising awareness, speaking authentically yeah. as an autistic person and coming up with a Fire punch, dope. It's a way to do it, man. Like you know, he's used his autism, which he's outspoken about as well. Like he is always advocating it. Like he's used it to his advantage and shut down. I wasn't in the room, but literally my phone blew up all day with people there going, "Scomo has just shut down Glasgow." Um, so shouts to Scomo, man. Uh, you know what? I say, I say this all the time. It's nice seeing someone who's so passionate about the scene. Yeah, yeah. He genuinely wants to be good at this, and he he's always mad it. happy. It's always mad happy to be here, to be on there. I'd love to see it, man. It's the goat, man. Um, so sorry, we've got Scomo, S, uh, Scotty B, which is, is SBE now. Um, Sam Heights, Raptor, Pest, Messi 13, Maddo, LS Dean, Laser, King, Joker Star, I don't think we've seen him back. Grazo, Giz, Gaz Time, Free Will, Enigma, Crash, Cooper, Caveman, Bracer. Amateur, they're all on two. Obviously, that's the old flop, and that's not been added to this yet. Yeah. And be Stanglio. And be Stanglio. But there's a few battlers with one battle that we know are going to have more than three, like visual. Um, you know, some uh, scoop will have two unless he does another one. Mackenzie's only had one this year, man. Yes, I'm saying, man. I really, I don't know, man. I, 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 I really want Mackenzie, Mackenzie to have at least one more battle. It's yeah. it's a shame it, it's a shame, but it's not at the same time. Like it just shows how active the scene is right now. Like even Apex is a three day event and these names There's still people missing out, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, like, whereas rewind two years ago I probably would have been forced to book these battlers because we didn't have that caliber. Um but yeah, it's like, you know, even like Franke, McKenzie, Quill, I just can't get battles for at the minute. And it's not because they're not good, it's just the matchups are not there or the cards are too full. Trouble, you know how fast of that when we're booking these plug events, we're filling the cards up in like two days. And I get bare people inboxing me, can I get a plug? Can I get a plug? And I'm like, yo, like, that's only his limited spaces, it's mad, like. And we've got Krishna's event right after, so I don't want to run over on the event as well because everyone's heading back to Ultima Rata right after. So, so yeah, man, it's it's it's, it's yeah. It's peak. Uh, it's peak. Again, it really sh speaks to the strength of the scene when you're saying Briggsy's just there saying, you know, Raptor, Mackenzie, Quill, not on there yet, but we're talking about visual black tea. Well, I guess visual isn't on there yet, but we're talking about you know uh, Moak and and black tea like new guys who are you know making their way up in the rankings, putting on credible performances, battling great opposition. Like it, it really. It's a healthy place. It's beautiful. I Look at Platini. He wasn't even in the top forty last year, was he? Now yeah. he's arguably in the top five. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And a couple yeah. of solid performances against you know great names against you know guys who have been around for a long time. Vets like Briggs. Better, better, isn't it? Yeah, he's he's gonna be a star. Like I, I say it all the time, and I'm gonna keep saying it. But he's uh, he's got star power. I love his. I think once he he gets a. Once he gets it together, once something yeah. clicks in him, he's got, you know, the, the personality and that kind of star quality. 
yeah. and an intricacy and lyricism and a passion as well. He loves this. Like, yeah. I, I don't. I think the person probably who smiles most. At, in fact, he probably out smiles me at battle rap events, and that, that, that you have to go a long way to do that. And I think he probably does. Yeah, for sure, because he's so he loves so. this. He I think it. all, all T is missing. And I'm not just saying it because it's me. I think we was on course to have it. it. Was like he's just missing that one dog fight where he comes out the back of it. Like no, I think you're right. Every battle that has to go through that. I think once you've gone through that, you realise what you're good at, what you're not good at. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm a, I, I really like Black T, man. I really like. Yeah, Black yeah. Tea. I like the way he raps. I like the way he and he's still new, so there's still a lot, yeah. a lot of growth in there. Like Black T next year is going to be a monster. Just like, I can already. Him. Good energy always wins in this shit. Like, you can mm. come in and be a dickhead. If you come in and want to learn and be good, it helps, man. Yeah. Like, you study the game. You study the game. Yeah. Bro, you, even, like, when I was at the No Lose Chat event, like, <laughs> you know, usually I'll try and wind my opponent up at the venue when I'm there, and you just can't because you're just positive. Yeah. Like, ended up just laughing with him. Yeah, like, like, you can't. I want to rip your head off, but I like it. It's weird. It's just a bursting bubble of love or something like he's just yeah he's just a like a, a really cool guy and and super talented super talented shouts to yeah. gas like this is one thing with this new generation as well like black tea gaspo mm. they're all back on promoting themselves yeah. they're showing how important it is our promo is they're showing how important promo is this is it it to took gasp off like on top of the performances you gotta put the performances as well but if you make if you're if you're having a positive effect, if you're putting your name up there in, in people's minds, they keep seeing you coming across your timeline. They sing, especially with promo. Promo sells tickets. Hey, battlers, battlers, hey. League owners like selling tickets. I don't know if you knew this, but they love it. It's something that they love to do, like, every day of the week. They, they just want to sell tickets. If you promo fight, guess what happens? They fucking sell tickets. Who knew? Book. Como might just win Battle of the Year because <laughs> of promo. And Gas Buff will be right up there fighting for it. Imagine that. Bro, I've seen stranger things have happened. <laughs> but yeah, it, it does show, man. It does show. Like Gas Buff, he's, I think he's one of the only Academy of Battlers from this year. And it's been a strong Academy that has got over a thousand views on every battle. Like... And that's just pure promotion. Mm. Almost in the same boat. Every battle he's done is over 1K, which we always set a target with the Academy of like 1K. And there's been a few this year that haven't hit, but like Gaspoff, Kingsley Thunder, Skolmo have all done it on every battle they've done because they promo. Salute yeah. to them. Salute to them. Bro, the amount, the amount, you know, the amount of people I've had. And, yeah, and, and still, as a league owner, people. Briggs, like, does that make you more inclined to, even if they're not, transitioning or translating into necessarily selling tickets now but does that make you more invested in them does that make you want to push them want to book them want to work with them because the thing is as a promoter it's like you know you want the big names that sell tickets but then they come with big fees and then the pressure's on them whereas you know you might have a scomo who's probably going to sell five tickets off the back of his name but he's not coming and demanding the world so it's less pressure on me to sell the event out I'd love nothing more than throwing events all year for five pound entry when I'm not asked about the profit. I'm not having to pay fees. It's just come down, battle, get involved. Like mm. that's the way we build this back up. When you're dropping hundreds of pounds on a battle that shares the flyer once, it's like I'm not fucking ready anymore. I mean, you know, I'm not going to name names, but a lot of people missed out on the big cards we've done recently because of that. They've asked for too much money, or they've asked for too big of an opponent. Like you've got to understand where we're at as a scene. We're not selling out venues anymore. And let me say this as well, like, I don't go Tesco's knowing I can't afford what I want to buy. So when battlers be like, you're not booking me. If I don't think I can afford you, I'm not going to come to you. Exactly. So, exactly. Do you know what I mean? I don't go to the shop thinking I might be able to get this for free. No, when I don't have enough money for it. So if I feel like for the budget I have got, I can't afford to book this, a specific battler, I'm not going to come to you. But they will be like, why didn't you book me? Because you charge too much money. 
Bro, it's the, I've, all, I've said this for since I've been running Prem, like, you know, any battler can put put his fee on his head. Like, he has every right to class himself and his time and ability at a certain amount. But the flip side is the promoter has every right to go, I don't want to pay that fee. Mm-hmm. You know, you can have that fee. That can be your worth in your own mind. But from my perspective, I can get two battlers for that fee that I'll put on just a good battle and fill out a card. Like, that's the way we've got to start looking at it. I mean, what a bill, look at the battler of the year. A lot of top names are not going to get free battles because they want hundreds of pounds to battle. Yeah. And it's only on yourself when you have one or two battles a year. Like, it just is what it is. Well, a fact. Tickets on sale Wednesday. Wednesday. There you go. Early birds Wednesday. Early birds get those Wednesday. early birds in. And if it doesn't sell out on Wednesday, I'll be disappointed the entire event. <laughs> No pressure, yeah. fuck it out. It's payday last <laughs> week. Everyone's got a bit of cash in your pocket. Yeah, I mean, August 13th, plug 1.5, we're going to be announcing some of the cards. I already, I already said this before. We're going to be announcing some of the cards, so make sure you're in the building. Mm-hmm. Exciting. Maybe not the whole card, depending on how I feel. How many? Depending on how many people hit the like button here. Depending yeah. on how many drinks Charles gets in the building. Depending on how many subscribers I get between yeah. now and then, but you know, if you hit a thousand subscribers by tomorrow night, we'll drop the whole card on Wednesday. Yeah, that's not happening. Card. That's not happening. <laughs> no one did doing that. Clip bro. this bit. You see that bit on YouTube uh, where it says "clip, clip that." Go and put it on your timeline and get us this card. Do your bit for battle rap. Come on. Listen, that's that means. That means like 370 fake accounts sub into my shit. That's, that's a <laughs> nice work. He's gas buff. You up for it? <laughs> give it gas buff and give it skull mo and let him run a promo. What? Rhyme? Hey, I'm a rhyme. There you go. I'm a rapper, man. I'm a rapper. There you go. I know, innit? I should, I, should, I should book gas buff and skull mo to do promo to subscribe to my shit, innit? Mm. That would work. Hey. No, I gasp off you still in here. Help me out, mate. <laughs> I'm setting up the box as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, what's shit. up. That's what's uh, up. We well. need this card. Come on. Yeah, but um, yeah, August 13th. Make sure you get your tickets. Premier Battles. Ten pounds. 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 Like it's cheap, yeah. it's enough. You might have a mate who's never been interested or has watched a few battles and never been. Just bring them down. A bring a off. date. Bring a date. Like I and I know a lot of Battle Rap fans like may not be um the most kind of date inclined, but um like bring bring it bring a lady with you. Bring a lady with you. Um she'll love it. <laughs> I promise you, she'll love it. If she doesn't, like, if she's not loving it when you bring her, like, bring her over to me. We'll have a chat and she'll love it. She'll love you as well. I'll, I'll promote you to her. Like, I'll mm-hmm. throw that in free. But okay. definitely, like, bring bring the ladies, man. Bring your sister. Bring your cousin. want to see so more ladies in the building. you take a girl out on a date to a battle event. You bring her near Jen. And then Jen, my worker magic. You- to, Listen, you're getting yeah. lucky. Trust no, me, I, I will sell the I, shit out of you. I'll tell you what, if if you bring your date to Premier Battles and she's never been before, drop me or trouble a message, and we'll walk over when you enter the building. We'll dap you down. We'll make sure you look like the absolute. <laughs> this is it. One thousand percent. I'll even 1, walk over and say, "Yo, do you want to host this battle?" You say no. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't want to take no shine away from yeah, these guys. They work too hard, Listen. man. I'm just here, with, just here on a date, you know. Just we'll get Rick to take you outside and take some pictures in the new merch, like we've been waiting for. You like, you know, we'll put on a whole show, man. Yeah, and we don't need to package. expose this. It, we don't it doesn't need, even cost you private. anymore. Doesn't even cost you anymore. It's the Premier Battles VIP date package. Sign up. Ten pounds. Like the 100%. fuck. I'm down. We keep Guaranteed. it confidential that it happened. Guaranteed, and that's like, that. happy ending. <laughs> Guaranteed. No, 100%. Um, yeah, man. Um, make sure you lock. Copy your tickets, premierbattles.club, August 13th, Apex. Uh, day one's announced. Day two should be out soon, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, I've just got to sort this Rivers and Joey situation out. Mm-hmm. Um, 
that's literally the whole the only battle that's holding up the entire card. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not happening, Joey and Rivers, but we're trying to sort a replacement out in a minute. I'm gonna give it till tomorrow. If if I've not got it bad tomorrow, we'll just put the card out. It is what it is. Yeah, yep, yep. And what it is is fucking amazing. Um, you know, oh the card's crazy. I really yeah. want to see Rivers and Joey on there, obviously, but uh, you know, yeah. It's just uh, it's a shame it's not happening, man. That battle was fire. Um, but what do you do? What can you do, eh? I mean, from what's announced, Raptor and Hopper. Hopper, yeah. That's must, day two. must be must be on day two. It's not Raptor, day. Hopper. I can give you the battles that are on it. Raptor, Hopper, um, Visual, oh, Pathogenic, yeah. Frost and Tech, Trub, uh, Frost and... Celestar, Trubs and Tech. Uh, nothing else I think, has been I think that's yeah. that. Yeah, I think that's that. Yeah. Frost and Celestar has been, been announced. I missed that one, I think. Yeah, Frost Celestar, yeah. I miss that. Shit, this Apex. Listen, this is um, a three-day Manchester holiday. If you are not in Manchester, like myself, like Trubs, like, well, Trubs is going to be there anyway. I'm going to be there anyway. But if you are, like, this is a get your... Airbnb situated, get your free day oh. tickets. This is a this is a this is an event like a, a event of events. Like you definitely have to be there. Definitely. I'll tell you what, if you're not there, I'm disappointed because September 10th, the day one is my birthday. So, so basically that. you're saying you hate Briggs if you're not there. Yeah, you're not coming to my birthday party. If That's you're not it. there, I'm be devastated. That's it. Each and every one of you will take it personally. And people know I don't go out after the events because I'm doing pay-per-views, but I'm not doing pay-per-views after this one. I'm getting fucked up. So if you want to see me fucked up after uh, the event, Oh, I am so there with yeah. my camera. So I there with my camera. <laughs> yeah. I can't be controlled. <laughs> nah, that's dope, man. That's dope. Now, you definitely deserve a break, you know? You definitely deserve a little birthday. A little birthday drink up. 100%. 100%. Mm, um, but yeah, man, you got August 13th, um, PremierBowers.club, Apex, 9th, 10th, and 11th of September, PremierBowers.club. PremierBowers is active, man. PremierBowers is active. October acquisition, PremierBowers.club. That's what I'm saying. Um, we already said November 5th, Scoop and Frankie. Yeah. That's announced as well. So PremierBowers.club. Yeah, that's yeah, mad still. It's a lot of it. It's a lot. I had to, yeah, yo, every, every time I said one, the next one came to my head. I was like, yeah, shit. You know, yeah, still that, that, one Halloween too, that one. Halloween event, 29th of October, man, March 13th of October, man, March 13th of November. This shit loads going on, man. Loads. Damn. But yeah, man, final words on the stream. Briggs, you've got two opponents. You've got Frost yeah. and O'Shea. Battle of the year. If I'm not, it's a fix. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> hey, I beat Moke. I beat Moke. <laughs> Say it again. There's a story and he's sticking to it. <laughs> I'm sticking to that. That's that third round would have gone off in a pit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was sleeping on me. Um, yeah, nah. Mate, it's just shout out to everyone. It's been a sick year already. It's been so many events. Like, it's just ending on a good one, isn't it? Apex is a big one. Plug is a big one. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Jen, let them know where they can find you and subscribe to your team. Uh, you. Follow me on all platforms, London Journal, one word, three ends on the Jen. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube. Follow my work at allhiphop.com and check out verified source on Battle Rap Trap live on Caffeine Monday and Wednesdays or on the YouTube if you're not an absolute night owl because it's 2am. But yeah, definitely tap in. Get those £10 tickets for the plug. Sort out your accommodation to be in Manchester all three days for Apex. Battle Rap is lit right now. I love it. That's it. We all here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Make sure you lock hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Big up everyone that's locked in. Peace.